Hi everyone and welcome to Species Center Stage for Thursday, July 27th, 2023. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary and this week we are featuring our Maclots Python, Shran. Please enjoy footage and photos of Shran that I took over a 48 hour period as I was doing my routine checks on him while I tell you a little bit about Maclots Pythons and then stay tuned at the end for some bonus footage of Shran and two other species of Liasis that we have here doing target training sessions. So the Maclots Python or Liasis Maclotti is a really neat snake that I find enjoyable to observe. It's a species of non-venomous constrictor native to parts of Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. I would call it a medium-sized python. It seems to average seven feet long as an adult, but understand that some might be smaller and some might grow larger than that. They have a really striking appearance with an olive green to dark brown skin that shimmers like a rainbow when it's in bright light, and they have light colored speckles over their bodies. Like all other pythons, Maclots pythons are obligate carnivores. This means they have a digestive system evolved to digest animal protein. They eat rats, mice, other small mammals, birds, frogs, fish, and lizards when in their native habitat. They are ambush predators. They use their mouth and teeth to grab prey, and then they coil around it with their body and constrict it to facilitate cardiac arrest in the prey. And this happens relatively quickly. Current information available indicates that they prefer rainforest habitats and they spend a lot of time up in the trees with some people calling them semi-arboreal and they don't seem to be too territorial. They are reported to be feisty when they're young, but as they grow older, people say that they mellow down. I have noticed that Shran spends the majority of his time in the upper half of his vertical space, so I definitely have to get him branches and more tree-like things to climb on than what he has now. Maclots pythons are polygynandrous. This means that both male and females have multiple mates, and males do compete for females in what is called combat. The female lays a clutch of around 10 to 18 eggs and incubates them by coiling around them and keeping them warm. The hatchlings are then born brown and gradually develop gray freckles as they grow. Like many species, Maclots pythons face some threats. Habitat loss due to land clearing, habitat degradation by introduced species, and the impacts of global climate change are just some of the anthropogenic concerns for the species. And they are predated upon by larger snakes, feral dogs, cats, pigs, and foxes as well. The IUCN does not list Maclots pythons as threatened, vulnerable, or endangered, but wild populations of this python should be monitored for any future decline. They are still regularly exported and imported, and they are being successfully bred in captivity. The closely related Liasis savuensis, or savu python, is not so lucky, however. They are listed as endangered by the IUCN, and they should be on your conservation radar. But back to our Maclots python, Shran, and a few more photos and shots of him before we move on to our special bonus footage at the end of this video, which is of our three Liasis doing target training sessions and getting their second feeding here with us. All three of them recently arrived on July 12th, and they are in our quarantine room and they've had one target training session each. Here is a video of Shran that I just took earlier today of him doing some partial basking, and he's got some dirt on his nose there, which I thought was really cute. Now it's much, much later at night, and I'm doing his second target training session. He ate about eight days ago, and he flew out of his sky hide at the prey. I don't know why he struck at it several times before actually grabbing it and constricting it, but that's what he did the first training session as well. Now, this is our water python, or Laesis fuscus, and his name is Soval, and he is in that hide. He was actually out in the open, but his routine is he's out in the open, I walk in, and he's fine, but if I unzip his quarantine tent, then he hides. So he's inside that hide, but his face is looking out. And I certainly realize that you cannot see him in there. He looks like a black snake, and that's a black hide. 
but I can see his face in there and it's looking out and he's tongue flicking. And so as he starts to move towards the entrance, I am moving the target and the prey back and he just shoots out and kind of like Shran, he strikes at it more than once before he actually grabs it, constricts it and eats it. So I don't know if that is something that Laesis tend to do or what. Now our Savu Python Archer, he does not do that. Archer is pretty methodical about his uh, target training so far and about his prey acquisition. And I started with the target on the outside of the glass because this is a top opening tank, it's fairly narrow. I didn't wanna get the target too close to him and scare him. I also thought he was asleep or at least resting and not 100% cognizant of what was going on. So as soon as I saw him start to tongue flick and made sure that he was aware of what was happening, I moved the target inside the tank with the prey. And you see here that he methodically investigates it and he strikes it and grabs it the very first time and constricts it. So he seems more efficient than the other two liasis that we have. Well, everybody, thank you so much for joining me this week for another episode of Species Center Stage. I hope you'll come along with me on this journey as I learn more about the behavior, temperament, and trainability of these species of liasis. I'm really excited to work with them. I really, really like the snakes so far and I'm gonna keep you posted on their progress. So I hope that you will check in with me on a regular basis to see how they're doing. I'm really excited to work with them, to observe their behavior, to start target training them, and also to see what other activities that they might have a predilection to participate in. So until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. Mm -hmm.